So we have connected the ESP32 using wire. We use the serial, but we also want the communication wireless. And uh, to connect the ESP32 and PC without any wire, we will need to modify the code a little bit. And uh, if we come to the MicroRos examples, there if we will find this example which is dealing with the Wi-Fi. And here we can see this is the line that is responsible for the Wi-Fi connectivity. We just need to copy this line and comment out this. Paste it here. And this is asking about the Wi-Fi SSID. So we will open the Wi-Fi settings. This is our connected Wi-Fi. And this this is the SSID, the name of the our Wi-Fi. We will replace this and Wi-Fi password. Enter the Wi-Fi password here. And here we have to mention the IP address. And there are several ways to find the IP address. You can simply go to setting and this is the IP address. We can just copy and paste it here. And there's another way to find the IP address. You can write if config and here you can find the IP address which is exactly same save it and upload the code and the code is uploaded now now we have to connect the, the ESP32 without wire so we will just remove the wire remove it here turn this button on if to connect it without any wire our Wi-Fi network, we will have to modify this. We will write UDP for minus minus port tetra 8 minus minus dev and here we have to mention the IP address of the ESP32. But how do we know the IP address of ESP32? Well, you can connect to your router and from there you can find the connected devices and you will see the IP address of your ESP32. But if you do not have that access, you are doing it using your mobile phone hotspot. The one tool can solve your problem. You will have to write sudo apt install nmap. And this will be installed. Then the command is sudo nmap minus sn and then the ip address the ip address exactly this and slash 34 and there you go we are getting the ip address here one ip address and the other ip address is here this is the IP address of our PC and this is the other IP address. This must be the IP address of ESP32 because there are only two devices connected my, via my hotspot. This is the IP address of the ESP32. I will paste it here. If you are feeling that the ESP32 is not connecting, you just restart this. restart the robot and yes this is connected now we can check the topic this is the topic and we are getting it without any wired connection we are going to publish something on it zero to turn off both LEDs and one yes the left LED is on and two right LED is on and three 
Paul Tauron. So that's it. That's it. That's the tutorial how you can connect the ESP32 without fire.